Hi Cancer. Welcome to Willow Oak. I am here to do your quarterly reading for you. That includes April, May, and June. We are going to take three cards for all the months, and then we're going to go through each month. But I'm going to try to do it a little bit quickly so we won't be here all day. One of the cards you have is that it is time to release negativity, okay? And now we're going to take a love card, and this can be any kind of love. Self-love, romantic love, family love. It just has to do with love. Okay? Practice compassion. See things from a fresh perspective. That's beautiful. Okay, and this is a general reading, so please only take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. You might check your other placements, your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, for either a more complete picture or if this does not resonate with you. Okay, now let's see what your overall energy is for these three months. Okay, you have conflicts with others caused by opposing opinions. Walk away from drama unless the situation is really worth your time. Then stand up for yourself or can talk about very ambitious people. Okay, so maybe we should take a clarifying card for that see what we find out. Okay. And right next to it you have it's time to release negativity and on the other side you have practice compassion. Very interesting and maybe very applicable. Okay. Mm. Choices. New are spoiled for choice. You have many choices. And what I say about this card is you need to pick the choice. Whoops, I'm trying to leave a text there so you can see it. You need to pick the choice or choices that are best for you. Okay? So if that means researching them, then research them. But pick what's best for you, not just a pretty shiny thing. Could be the pretty shiny thing that is just right, but research them and find out. Okay? All right. So that um, really doesn't clarify what's going on, but it is saying that you have choices. You do not have to be drawn into a conflict if you do not want to be. Okay. And here, time to release negativity. Practice compassion. So, but those three cards here would make me think that maybe if there is a conflict, you should walk away. Beautiful. You have the Ten of Earth. That's financial security for yourself and your family, inheritance or, or retirement, peace and contentment in life, honoring family traditions, pride in the family tree, passing on knowledge. This is a beautiful energy when we're, it is, yeah, financially abundant time and you want to share this with your family, everybody you love. And it's even the kind where if you want to, you can leave a legacy. Lots of abundance. Okay, it's a beautiful energy. Okay, let's get a spirit animal to go with that. Life is a mystery. Okay. 
Now let's get your overall energy for May. Beautiful. You have the Queen of Earth. Generous, practical, gracious, materialistic, the ability to make anything more beautiful. A love of family and home. Be practical about how you proceed. A love of art and beauty and a sensible approach. And this particular energy I love because to me it's also got a lot to do with balance. Mm -hmm. Her career side she loves. She does it very well. Her home side is filled with happiness and joy. And somehow she manages to balance the two beautifully. So it is a wonderful energy to have. Let's get a spirit animal to go with that. Oh, oh we left some behind. Okay. Nothing is wasted. Okay, and what this is talking about, whether you're experiencing good, bad, indifferent, whatever it is, none of it is wasted. Okay? Even if there are challenging times, you turn that into wisdom. So later on, you can use that to help yourself or potentially help others, okay? So now let's get an overall energy for June. <laughs> you have the king of air, intelligent, impartial, Respected, stoic, receiving wise advice. Remain objective and fair-minded. Public speaking, communicate clearly. Unemotional relationships are being emotionally unavailable. One of the things about this particular king is they base everything on the truth. Okay. So, you will get the truth from this. That's what you want. Okay. White Raven Spirit, trust in the magic. Okay. Now, I don't see anything here where we need to take any clarifying cards. Mm-mm. So let's go ahead and get some cards for April. Page of Wands. Okay. The Page of Wands, like the other one's energies is very enthusiastic, ambitious, and passionate. Okay? Here it talks about you leaving somewhere where you can do no more so you can go to a place that will serve you very well. an argument. Hmm. Maybe that's where the life is a mystery comes in. I think we should take a clarifying card for that one. It 
This is a very interesting combination of cards that you have for April. The Five of Cups. Okay. This is saying that you're looking at three spilled cups and not focusing on the two that are alive in your life. So it looks like this argument, potentially, you could be one of these people walking away that feels defeated. Okay. Maybe we should take a card for the Bobcat Spirit. Okay, the Six of Wands. This is where you are victorious. Okay? <laughs> Victory after a battle. So what that would say to me is you are most likely victorious from this argument, but you still feel bad. Maybe it's important to you to be fair and kind. So it would also make me feel like you were drawn into the argument, not like you started it, but you were drawn into it. And you were victorious. Mm-hmm. But you still are sad about it. And this is kind of reading this way to me. So, it looks like you leave and you go to a place that will serve you well, where you will be happy. And it ends up bringing you this beautiful energy. And the Page of Wands, where you're excited, enthusiastic, ambitious, and very passionate about it. And at the bottom of the deck from pulling that card, we have the Emperor, which is an extremely powerful card. One who sets solid foundations from which a success will grow. Okay? So, maybe this had, this argument ended up having to happen. You're victorious, but it still makes you sad. Maybe you did not want this to happen at all. But, Maybe it had to happen. Okay. All right. Let's go on and get some cards for May. And I'm not sure if I mentioned this part or not, but this is energy. Right? So if you change your energy, it can change this energy as well. And also, I have these divided up into months. April, May, June. Right? The um, energy doesn't do that. <laughs> so <laughs> things can kind of ebb and flow wherever they want, and we just deal with it. Beautiful. Okay. You have this card twice. That's what this is. The Ten of Pentacles. And this talks about, again, you being very abundant. It's a very lucrative time. It's a wonderful time where you want to share everything with everybody you love. And it's even to the point that if you want to, you could probably leave a legacy for everyone. It's a beautiful card. And it's coming out right under the queen of earth or pentacles. Okay. Well, these three wanted to come out. Okay, <laughs> you have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is all about the truth. She's not interested in the niceties, frivolities, any of that. She just wants the truth, period. Here is the same card that you have here, where you are victorious after a battle. In here, you have justice. So if anything has wronged you, say if this was something, you know, where you were wronged, justice is here to make it right, to balance the scales. But also, you see the scales here, it also means balance. You remember me talking about the Queen of Earth. I think she is extremely balanced. So there is nothing to clarify here. It's beautiful. You want the truth, you're victorious, justice is on your side. 
you are going to be having the type of life where you can leave a legacy if you choose to. Beautiful. Ah, broken heart. We will take a card for that one. Mm-hmm. But let's get the others out first. Celebration, which is a beautiful card. It's 11-11, and it talks about it's time for you to go in and celebrate. Mm -hmm. And a midpoint energy. This is talking about you have put something out there, and you're waiting to see how it's coming back to you, how it's received. And this is saying, don't wait. Go out, help yourself, take action. Okay? So let's get a clarifying card for the Three of Swords. And this is um, kind of a quick reading because I know I could spend an hour or two talking about this. So I am trying to make it a little bit shorter <laughs> so you won't be here that long. Okay, Page of Swords. Learning how to think clearly and communicate with authenticity. That's clarifying the Three of Swords. Okay, hmm. Interesting, because right next to it you have a celebration. But over here you have justice. And remember me talking about energy ebbs and flows like a stream or breeze. So that does not necessarily mean that the cards you have here for June are solely for June. This can make reference to this. Okay. So let's see here. Let's talk about this for just a minute. Then we will get some cards from the universe. Your overall energy. Okay. Conflicts with others caused by opposing opinions. That could be this, by the way. Walk away from drama unless the situation is really worth your time and then stand up for yourself or very ambitious people. And it was clarified by the Seven of Cups, which means you have many choices. And I can see this. Even without this card, you do have many choices. You don't have to stay and argue. Right? You can walk away or you can stay, just like it says. And the cards on either side of this make me feel like you should walk away. But sometimes we know that there is no walking away. You know, sometimes you have to deal with whatever it is. But if you have choices, make the best choice for you. Here it says it's time to release negativity. And here, practice compassion. See things from a fresh perspective. And it looks like you are because here, remember me talking about this argument in April. It looks like you are the victor, but you're not happy about it. Matter of fact, you're grieving it. You're not grieving the fact that you're victorious. I think that you're grieving the fact that it happened at all. Okay? So, you're going away to a place that will serve you well. And this could, could be literally. It could also be emotionally. Right? And it kind of brings about this feeling of enthusiasm, ambition, passion, which is a good thing. And your overall energy here is beautiful. One that's very lucrative, um, financial security for yourself and your family, inheritance or retirement, peace and contentment in life. So maybe you had to go through this in order to have this. And this could be this, okay? In May, you have the Queen of Earth, or Queen of Pentacles, which is a beautiful energy, extremely balanced, very lucrative, and very loving. Here, 
and saying nothing is wasted. And I'm sure that's referring to this and this. Take what you've learned from that and apply it to your life. Turn it into wisdom. Okay? And your cards here are very nice. This is the same as this. It's a beautiful energy of financial security and inheritance and leaving legacies. It's a beautiful, one of the best in the deck. And here, truth. So you have the queen and the king. This is swords and this is air, but it's swords, which gives this reading even more power. It's like a divine couple, right? And they are all about the truth. And here, it's repeating that card where you are victorious and you have justice. And see the balance? Balance. And then over here in uh, June, you have the King of Swords. You base everything on the truth. And it says trust in the magic. Here is the Three of Swords, which is clarified by the Page of Swords. So you have three court cards of swords, king, queen, and page, okay? And this is where you're learning to think clearly and communicate clearly, which could actually be tied into this and this. Mm -hmm. But the truth, everything's about the truth. I think the truth is very strong in this reading. Mm -hmm. And it ends up being time to celebrate, okay? What I think is going on here is I don't think <laughs> the universe is compartmentalizing like I did. I think these things are kind of blended. Okay. But this is what I have for you for the next quarter. I hope you find this helpful. And let's go ahead and get some cards from the universe to see what they would like to share. Okay, your first card. It's a beautiful energy. This is a Six of Cups. It's a nostalgic energy, and it talks about having these wonderful memories of childhood, youth, even a few years ago, that make you feel warm and happy. It's a lovely energy. But I also think it's more than that. Here, this little boy is giving this little girl a cup with a flower in it. So to me, that means care, compassion, and even love. So I do think this is a wonderful energy to get, okay? The Knight of Pentacles, the slowest moving knight in the deck. This is a very hard working and slow moving night. They have a goal and they are going to achieve their goal, but they are in no hurry to achieve that goal. What they are most concerned about is making for sure that everything is done beautifully, perfectly, the way it should be. Okay? Very methodical, um, wonderful planner, implementer, helping to build solid foundations. All right? And you have the sun. Wonderful. Okay, this is the very best energy in the deck. This is um, talks about you being absolutely abundant, prosperous, happy. Everything is going beautifully. It is the shine your light kind of energy. So that's the very last card. And it's the very best card. Beautiful. And just to let you know, at the bottom of the deck from taking that card is the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups is unconditional love. Somebody that you know where there is an unconditional love. 
It can be romantic. It does not have to be. It could be a coworker, a friend, anybody. But it is unconditional love. And that kind of reminds me of this a little bit. Okay. So just a couple of highlights, and then we'll take some charms, and we'll be done. You have two cards about having this wonderful, wonderful financial security and being able to leave a legacy if you choose. And it's where you want to make you and everybody you love very happy. So that's a beautiful energy. You also have a couple of cards that talk about balance, justice, and the Queen of Earth. Time to release negativity, okay? And I can see how that is important here because these cards here, life's a mystery. <laughs> and this would make it a mystery. Okay, you get into an argument. You're the victor, but it makes you sad. So there is something about this where you do not want to get into an argument. Either your personality type or the people involved or whatever it is. You're victorious, but it still causes you hurt. Here, time to release negativity. And I think this and this are either one and the same or very related. Okay? But you go on to a place where you are very happy, financially secure. Okay? Celebration time. And you end up with the very best energy there is. And truth is very important to you. Okay? So let's get a charm for each month and see what we get. Start with April. <laughs> okay. If there's a charm that has the equivalent tarot card, I take it as that card. This is the sun. So this would mean that in April you also have a sun. So that would be the sun times two. Absolutely beautiful. So I can see this being connected to this and this. Where this was a challenge for you. Or will be. Speaking past tense. Hasn't happened yet. Or this will be a challenge for you. It will end up being the very best thing that could happen. Okay. So now May. You have an owl. And owls are all about the wisdom. So there is going to be a lot of wisdom that comes to you during this time. And like I said, remember the energy can ebb and flow. So it can, this can spill over here, this can spill over here, etc. But wisdom is coming to you. And I can see that in this vulture spirit too. Learning Wisdom, taking what you're going through and turning it into wisdom. Mm -hmm. Very wise. Okay, and now one for me. Angel wings. Beautiful. Okay, this is saying that the angels are with you. They're guiding you. They're helping you. So it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, thank you so much. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful three months. Much love. Bye.